In this video lecture, I am going to discuss about how to run first Java updates program. So first here, I am going to create new text file. Now here, let's give for txt. Therefore, you need to create two files. First for Java, next is HTML file. So this is the code here. Copy and paste. Now you can see public class. The file name is the test so that when you save the you should give the when you save as then you should give the file name test. So click on file then click on this test and on the desktop giving the file name test dot java. Java extension should be required because that file should be Java type. Press enter okay so file is the test file that created now here this is two important uh, packages are there so importing java applet and applet class and this is graphics so here public class test so test that extend or inherit all the property of applet class after that this is now paint method has the graphics class and this is the object so g called draw strings so draw strings there are three parameter one for string height and width okay this is the code now after that the next is let's uh, close that and the next uh, so the next is here we need to or create another file so this is now html file copy this one and to pasting there so now here click file click save as so save as then after here test so next you need to create the file name test and here the extension html html file we need to create that now save that so now close so two file that created now the next is this that I'm going to run so to compile Java file we need to give here Java C and give the file name so file name is now test and this is Java tabs test.java press enter so there is no any problem with this or file okay there is one important thing here or uh, this file is in the desktop so we need to change the path first so first here let's uh, go anywhere let's go here file so file now copy then after use the cd command paste so here we need to change on the desktop so desktop that change after that uh, the next is here again you need to use this command java c test.java so this is for compiling so file compiled or successfully now you can see test dot or class file new file that created after that uh, here we need to uh, run this uh, uh, file so test dot uh, html file we need to run this because there is no any problem with the test file so now we need to run so to run the applet file so we need to use here applet viewer command applet viewer now give the file name test dot html now let's run that here you can see applet viewer the uh, file name is test dot class here applet and here inside there hello world it's a uh, displaying and this is height and width okay so now here you can see this is the another code so this is now html code applet here code so code equal to test dot java so when here applet then this run then that uh, start calling test uh, or dot class method so test dot class method that find here after that or uh, code base then here that uh, set the width and height okay and uh, width and height and uh, whatever the content so when that this move 
test.class so test.class has uh, this contents so this contents this will do all the process now here that uh, do the or uh, drawing with the inside there hello world that display and this is x hundred and hundred or uh, location height and width okay so this is how that applet to viewer or uh, that works to compile the Java program, you need to give uh, Java C test dot Java, and to run the applet uh, uh, file, you need to give a applet viewer. Then here, file name with the extension HTML. So this is the Java file, and this is the test file, test HTML file. To run this, we need to use that all those things. Okay. So first Java pro uh, file that create. Now we can call we can inside there or uh, html we can use we can give the reference of test class after that come control comes to this point whatever the content that will do the processing so this is how that to uh, work uh, and this is how we can uh, run first java applet programs using command prompt so now in this video it's over so thanks for watching see you next video thank you